friends, and welcome to a Story Kit Crush process video. Today, I'm going to be working with the Friends Story Kit, which is currently the Story Kit Crush kit theme for the month of October 2022. If you are unfamiliar with the Story Kit Crush Challenge, the idea or the concept behind this whole thing is to pull out your older scrapbooking kits and to work through one of them each month using up the products and telling the stories that you want to tell with those kits before putting them into your stash. So the Friends Story Kit came out a couple years back from Allie Edwards. I am using it to tell a story about our friendship with our old neighbors. So in 2021, our family moved from our first house into our now current house. When we lived in our first house, we had the pleasure of living right next to a family who had kids roughly the same ages as our own kids. We quickly became friends. We were uh, a little pod during the COVID times, and these are people now who feel to us like family. So I wanted to document a little bit of that story. I am using two of the transparent tags, which were an add-on, I believe, for this particular story kit. I really loved the colors of them. They have the deeper blue and the kind of mustardy, um, maybe even, maybe not quite mustardy. It's even a little sunshiny yellow, and it blended super nicely with some photos that I had taken of our families during a trip we went on together this summer. So then I took another of the uh, journaling cards from the story kit that says something like our friends or friendship. And uh, it had this border around the outside that I thought would be really nice at the top and bottom of the card if I were to cut it into the same tag shape. Then I printed three additional photos, or I guess not additional, three photos that I also created the tag shapes out of those. So I printed them as a three by four photo and then trimmed off the two corners to make them into the same tag as the plastic ones. Now I'm going to create a little grid of six of these tag shapes in the middle of a 12 by 12 layout. Since these are going to go into the middle of this plain white uh, textured cardstock, I wanted to create a border around the outside to help everything feel a little bit more grounded and less like it was just floating in the middle of space. So I pulled out my sewing machine and stitched a line all the way around the outside of the border of that 12 by 12 textured cardstock. I believe that is gold thread that I used. It's just whatever I had in my machine at the moment, and it went well enough with the colors of the cards and the tags and the photos that I just went ahead and did that. Now that I've got the border done, I've also punched holes into the journaling card and the three photos. So we've got the tag hole at the top and put some black and white striped twine in each of those tags. Then I'm going to add some adhesive to the back side of the tags and position them as best I can, as evenly as I can, into the middle of the canvas. When I am working on a grid like this, I like to alternate my journaling cards or my filler cards with my photos. So on the top row there, I've got the transparent tag of photo and another transparent tag. And then on the bottom, I swapped the way that I was alternating them. So I've got the photo first and then my journaling card with my journaling printed on top and then my third photo next to that. I like the way that this balances out my page. It makes everything feel really cohesive and nice to look at without being too busy, especially since the three photos are all taken in, actually they're not all in the same spot, but they were all taken on the same day. So the kids have the same colors that they are wearing. And then two of them, we've got the really a vibrant blue background. We took some photos in front of a mural while we were on vacation together. On the photo of my daughter and her friend, her best friend, Ryan, I also stapled on the plastic phrases that says childhood friends because that's exactly what they are. 
Ryan and Izzy have known each other since they were both little. I think Ryan was two and Izzy was three when they very first met. And they are now uh, six and seven years old. So many, many years that they have known each other. And it's crazy to think that they will know each other and be friends uh, most likely for their entire lives. That's just something really, really cool. Because the tags are transparent, I did not want to add adhesive to the backside of them. So instead, I pulled out my long arm stapler in order to add a staple right at the top of those cards. The tiny attacher wouldn't reach them and neither, well, my normal stapler may have. It's just put away in a not easy to get spot. So I pulled out the long arm one instead. I also wanted to add a couple of the chipboard embellishments that I had left over from this kit. I have three of those little circles, so I'm going to add those on the three journaling type cards. And then I also have the best days little banner tag that I added on top of the photo in the bottom right corner. The last thing I'm going to do here is add my date stamping to the bottom of my layout, and then I will call this one done. I do have a blog post that accompanies this video, so you can check that out to see closer up images and to be able to read my journaling. I will be back again in two weeks with my next Friends Story Kit Crush layout. Until then, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.